Hello everyone. I'm honored to be able to do this presentation. The name of our team is BOPT Prio and Noya Arc. I'm the speaker, Lu Yang, a PhD candidate of BOPT. In the fourth look into person challenge, our team win the first place on track one, multi-person human parsing and track two video multi-person human parsing. Our method called QE Night. Quality Aware Network for Multiply Human Parsing. Our QE Knight achieves 36.69 rank on Track 1 Multiperson Human Parsing. QE Knight can give an accurate quality score for each predict human parsing to boost the AP metrics. So our submission exceeds the second place over about 8 APR points and greatly exceeds, exceeds the last year's champion by nearly 10 points. With QA Knight, we also win the first place on track 2, video multi-person human party, with 70.53 rank. We also have a, we also, which, how, which also has a great advantage in the AP matrix. For multiply human parsing, we consider an important issue. What problems need to be solved in multiply human parsing? We believe that uh, we, we believe that there are two important issues. The first one is how to predict high quality instance level human part segmentation. The second is how to give an accurate score of each human instance. Our QA Knight is committed to solving the second issue. Some common methods for scoring human parsing are as follows. First one, in the mainstream top-down multiply human parsing methods, box score is generally used as parsing score. The second, there is not a general and effective way to give the independent score for each human part. It is still common to take the human box score as the score of each part. These methods have all be real shortcomings. 1. There are a large of number of parsing results have a low score with high quality or a high score with low quality, which makes the ground truth first match to the high score and low quality results. When calculating the AP matrix, 2. In practical application, because the box score only reflects the detection quality, but not the parsing quality, so it cannot re effectively filter out the low-quality parsing results through the threshold. 3. In some research and applications, the parsing results will be output in, form, in the form of levels. For example, uh, the first, uh, for example, the human body as the first level, the upper and the lower body as the second level and each part as the third level. But the scores of each human part are the same, which cannot reflect the quality of each level of segmentation, making it impossible to select the optimal level as the output. So we propose QA Knight, which has which has two contributions. QA Knight can calculate can evaluate the quality of predict parsing map and use this quality to improve the parsing results. We call this, Q, we call this quality aware module, QAM. QNet analyzes the importance of scoring mechanism of human and human parts and proposes the human or parts quality. Quality is used as a parsing score and the quality-based NMS method is proposed to filter out the repeated pre pre predictions. 
We call it a human scoring module, HSF. We use ResNet or HRNet with Panoptic IPN as the backbone of QANet. Using 512 and 12 times 384 input image resolution, and the output resolution of probability map is quarter of the input images. The proposed quality aware module is connected to the PFPN. QM can be divided into two similar parts. The first part is used to generate the quality feature, which senses the parsing quality. The second part is based on the quality feature to generate the final parsing results and predict the IOU score. We use L1 loss to regress the IOU between predict parsing map and ground truth. The loss loss is used to improve the performance of human part segmentation. For top-down multiply human parsing methods, a human detector is used to detect human instance, and each, and each instance generates the final parsing results through the single human parsing network. We use AP metrics to measure the performance of parsing network, including APR, average precision based on region, APH, average precision based on human, and BP, average precision based on part. The human scoring module is the co-component of QANet, which can give an accurate score of human instance or human part. We call it a quality score. Quality score is very simple in nature. It is calculated by the three independent scores. The first one is box score, the score of the detected human bounding, bo bounding box, indicating the confidence of human detection. The second is IOU score, the output of QM, indicating the overall confidence of human part segmentation. And the third one is pixel score. The pixel level score calculated from the predict probability map indicating the average confidence of pixels in each instance. We use the box score, IOU score, and pixel score to calculate the quality score. Alpha, beta, and gamma are used to adjust the weights of different scores. Here is the code for generating pixel score. Pixel score, in short, is in an instance the proportion of high confidence pixels to all pixels. The, hu the whole human instance have, has a person pixel score, and each part of human instance has its independent pixel score. Our models are trained on CHP train site with one time schedule. It means 140 epochs and evaluated on CHP website with Flip test. We use FCOS ResNest 269 deformable for human detector, which achieves 78.5% detection AP on CHP website. According to the ablation studies on CHP, CHP data site, our baseline achieves a high performance. With QAM, mean IOU and APR increase 0 0.79, 0 0.79. 
points and 5.91 points respectively. The human scoring module improves 8.35 APR points without, without extra time cost during both training and inference stages. The quality-based NMS also boosts the, the performance with about 0.94 APR points. We can get the similar improvements with HRNet backbone and achieve best single model performance on the CHP well side. Here are the ablation studies of QM and HSM. The results show that our method is effective. About QM, we found that two step is very efficient. About HSM, different ways has uh, have a great uh, influence on the final results. If we only use the box score as the parsing score, the APR is the worst. Only. 47.3, which is very close to the 2018 champion. Combination of box score and IOU score as the parsing score will achieve 52.67, which is close to the 2019 champion. Besides, we also find that only using IOU score or pixel score, the AP metrics are still very low. But combination box score and pixel score as the parsing score, the network yields about 59.77, which is significant to outperform the baseline with the box and IOU score. Furthermore, we combine the box IOU and the pixel scores with the proper weights, achieve 61.63 points APR. You can see that the box score based on more than 40, 14 points APR. Comparisons on CHP well side with the previous state of the art methods. Our best single model, which is QA Knight with HR Knight 48 backbone, achieves 37.51 mean IOU and uh, 62.51 APR on CHP well side with flip test. Finally, we assemble two we assemble four QA net models and achieve and achieve 68.76 mean IOU and uh, 64.63 APR on SHP test side. For track 2 video multi person human parsing, QNet significantly improved the performance on ATEN data site. Without such CHP pre trained, QNet achieves 30.07 MIOU and 57.11 APR and 88.03 APH on the test side. For CHP pre-trained, we train the model on CHP train site and well site for 140 epochs and then fine-tune the model on 18 data train site for 24 epochs. With CHP pre-trained, the performance is boosted. We achieve 61.63 MIOU and 58.02 APR and 89.48 APH. More experiments of ATEN dataset will be released in our QNet paper. In addition, we found that the quality score is also effective in instance segmentation. On COCO dataset, quality score can improve the instance segmentation with 1.4 AP points. Even without IOU score, we can still achieve 1.2 AP improvements compared to the baseline. This result is similar to the mask scoring RCN, but our methods 
does not need to change the network structure, now increase the training and the inference time. On the LV's data set, only using LU score or pixel score, both improve the baseline with 1.2 AP points. When using quality score, we achieve 1.8 points AP improvements. improvements. These experiments show that the quality score expresses the essential quality of the instant level predictions. We will further explore the application fields of quality score. Our code and models will be publicly available on GitHub, and our paper will be released in one to two months in which we will give more detailed principal analysis and more experiments. Okay, that's all. Thanks a lot.